turn to the weighted combination. Jesus Christ on Calvary as the atoning sacrifice for your sins and believe that by God's grace through faith in his shed blood you are saved from sin and its penalty. Do you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior? Believe him that God in Christ has forgiven your sins and given you a new heart. And do you renounce the sinful ways of the world? Do you accept by faith the righteousness of Christ, your intercessor in the heavenly sanctuary, and accept his promise of transforming grace and power to live a loving life? Christ-centered life in your home and before the world? Do you believe that the Bible is God's inspired word? The only rule of faith and practice for the Christian? Do you covenant to spend time regularly in prayer and Bible study? Number six, do you accept the Ten Commandments as a transcript of the character of God and a revelation of His will? Is it your purpose, by the power of the indwelling Christ, to keep this law, including the fourth commandment, which requires the observance of the seventh day of the week as a Sabbath of the Lord and a memorial of creation? Number seven, do you look forward to the soon coming of Jesus and the blessed hope which this mortal shall put on immortality? As you prepare to meet the Lord, will you witness to his loving salvation by using your talents in personal soul winning endeavor to help others to be ready for his glorious appearing? Do you accept the biblical teaching of spiritual gifts and believe that the gift of prophecy is one of the identifying marks of the remnant church? Yes, Number nine. Do you believe in church organization? Is it your purpose to worship God and to support the church through your tithes and offerings and by your personal efforts and influence? Number 10. Do you believe that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit? And will you honor God by caring for it, avoiding the use of that which is harmful, abstaining from all unclean foods, from the use, manufacture, or sale of alcoholic beverages, the use, 
manufacture or sale of tobacco in all, in any of its forms for human consumption and from the misuse or trafficking in narcotics or other drugs. Amen. 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 Do you know and understand the fundamental Bible principles as taught by the Seventh-day Adventist Church? Do you purpose by the grace of God to fulfill His will by ordering your life in harmony with these principles? Do you accept the New Testament teaching of baptism by immersion and desire to be so baptized as a public expression of faith in Christ and his forgiveness of your sins? Amen. Amen. And the final vow. Do you accept and believe that the Seventh-day Adventist Church is the remnant church? of Bible prophecy, and that people of every nation, race, and language are invited and accepted into its fellowship. Do you desire to be a member of this local congregation of the world church? What does the congregation say? We have answered the affirmative. In resounding, saying, I do. They are making a commitment to the Lord Jesus through these vows. And so what we do next, as they face you, right, they will be seeing firsthand what your decision will be regarding their baptism. And so I so moved, as an elder of the church, the Plumstead Community Assembly Adventist Church, I so moved that these lovely candidates be accepted as members of the Plumstead Seventh-day Adventist Church subject to baptism. Amen. Can I have somebody to second that? Second that. Okay, thank you so much. Now is, is the opportunity for all members of the church to uh, participate in this aspect. All those who are in favor, all our members who are in favor of accepting these wonderful candidates as members of the Plumstead Community Seventh-day Adventist Church, subject to their baptism, may I see the uplifted right hand, please? Please take a good look. All those who are in support. Okay, thank you so much. You may take a Those who are against. May I see your hands? Is there anybody against? Have a good look. Is there anybody against? Okay, all in favor. Thank you so much, church, for participating in this aspect of the baptism. What does the church say? Amen. What does the church say? Amen. We say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. What's the highest praise? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if the Bible say heaven rejoice over one sinner that repents, and here we have what? So, so, so sorry. Heaven is having a party. And so, if heaven rejoice, then we should be rejoicing. Amen, Amen church? Amen. Candidates, I want to thank you so much. If you could just turn around. Okay, you may be seated. At this time, I will be calling upon Ella Smart. Candidates, my apology, I will have to ask you to stand now, please. Ella Smart will be doing the prayer of consecration before you are led into the watery grave. Amen. The water is troubled, Amen. my friend. Amen. It is troubled for these individuals who are going to be baptized, but I'm sure there are others, even at this point, is late in their decision. Amen? Amen. It's not too late. 
Not too late. Elder Smart, I invite you to come forward as you do the prayer of consecration. Shall we pray? Heavenly Father and our God, we come to stand before you, Lord Jesus, to give you thanks and to give you praise. Yes. We praise you because you are God. Amen. Without you, we could not accomplish this. We know, Lord Jesus, that the enemy, Lord Jesus, was making a party up to two weeks ago. But, Lord, you went in and you crushed that party, Lord Jesus, yes, sir. and brought out these babies, Lord Jesus, and raised them up, Lord Jesus, to be sons and daughters of you. Amen. Lord Jesus, you said that we shall be one, yes. as you and your Father are one. You said that, Lord Jesus, that we should be a set-apart people. Yes. A people, Lord Jesus, for holy use. Yes. So, Lord Jesus, we know that these folks, Lord Jesus, these candidates, these, your blessed people, are ready, Lord Jesus, for service. Yes. So, Lord Jesus, we pray that you strengthen them right now. Yes. Because we know that the enemy will now try, Lord Jesus, in any way to recapture them. But in the name of Jesus, we look him right now. Yes. Because we know that he's a defeated foe. Yes. And whatever he tries to do, Lord Jesus, we know that the power in us is stronger than the power in the world. Amen. So we pray, the Father, that you consecrate these people, Lord Jesus, these individuals. Consecrate them and bring them, Lord Jesus, into your presence, where they shall remain through eternity. Amen. Lord Jesus, when they are, as the preacher said, there shall be no suffering. But Lord Jesus, of rejoicing, Lord Jesus, and saying all through eternity, holy, holy, holy. So Lord, just bless them and set them apart of thy heart. And make them, Lord Jesus, to be an example before us as we walk, Lord Jesus, in the fullness of your power and your grace. Amen. Bless us now, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. Have you been blessed, saints? Amen. To God be the glory. Great things He has done. And great things.